Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second round game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the NC State Wolfpack. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Wolfpack should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get that big man into foul trouble. Next, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Thirdly, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Sets the screen for his teammate. We need to see that again, Brad. He shoots from downtown. He gets it to go. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Takes the... Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed. Number 31 handles the feed. Terrible execution on offense. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. Down inside, the power forward receives the pass. With a little baby hook. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. They work the perimeter. The power forward received and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to feed the low block. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They go into the low block. Tries for two. And off the mark. Now trying to feed the low block. That spin move's not going to work and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post screen. Great play to take that to the basket. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The small forward handles the pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great play to take that to the basket. inside try to go inside and they do they got it on the low block it'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there that young man is doing it all for his team right now he's getting it done out there brad they'd be in trouble without him there's a nice block from behind dick yeah that's good timing for the defense that spin move not successful dick i did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn Way off target. Up fake. Thinks about the shot. He goes with a baby hook. And in and out. Gave it up. He shoots from left to the circle. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jug. the dribble gives it up steal that's basic 
Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. For two, doesn't go. to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. He rejects it. What an unbelievable play rotating over. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Looking for the foul. Georgia Tech is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Still don't score. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From downtown, off the rim and no good. In the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, can't get the shot to drop. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nessler. Horrible shot selection. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter from three-point territory. Georgia Tech are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Entry pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. The Yellow Jackets have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Now they work it around the perimeter. Spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Number 32, pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Another turnover. We're not talking out the turnovers either. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay.
give it up. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here's the three ball. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. They work the perimeter for the bucket. Georgia Tech have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the outside, throws it up, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Up and inside! Off the rim and no good. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires from long range. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. And off the mark. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. He shoots from long range. It's good. He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. It's stolen. He steals it. Hit him up right there. Working it around the perimeter. From left of the circle. Gets it to fall. For two, perfectly executed. With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Runs in first, Dickman works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Good defensive stance there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, oh, nice great, job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Something inside. Nice pass to the low block. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They work the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. They still don't score. Number four is charged with the foul. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. And in and out. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two, and he missed. On the inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from the top of the circle. NC State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He hits it. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. I think they're trying to make a statement. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that's what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Whenever I think of NC State, I think of their iconic coach of the 1980s. Oh, great man. He was an inspiration to many. Had a great approach to life and how you should live. Truly one of the greats. Second shot is good. He hits the third shot. Number 34 is asking the fans to get behind his team right now. He wants everyone up for the next possession. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. They still don't score. Step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player.
Tries to get the D to bite. Tries for two. The Wolfpacks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Number 33 is fired up and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. He uses the shot fake. Push that basketball. Up and inside. He launches a three. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, and passing the block. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Shot clock is dead. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Moving it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on that talented watch up there. Huh? Yeah, Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. At the free throw line. He sinks it. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They run it up into transition. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Yellow Jackets are down by eight. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? I picked this basket in a pain for the highlight of the first half. We saw lots of inside scoring in the first half, and I think it's going to be the key for both teams in the second half. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. NC State is getting a lot of rebounds, Dick, in that first half. Hey, Brad, these boys gave a monstrous performance on the board. They were relentless in retrieving the rock. Dick, you've talked about the pressures of NCAA tournament play, and here it is in the second half, and you know it's building on both these teams. Well, you know what I really think is impressive here tonight? Both these clubs are really focused on each possession. You can feel that they're playing with so much concentration, and that's all they got to do. They're going to play up to their ability, and they're both doing it. At the ultimate end, it's going to come down to who makes the big shot. Can't get the shot to drop. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. The center with the ball. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two.
Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Takes the pass in the paint. Pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. What a brilliant defensive effort by this bunch tonight, Dick. Hey, this is how you play team defense, baby. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. On the outside. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He fires away. Kicking back outside. He shoots from downtown. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Puts it on the floor and up and under. NC State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to put an offense. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Dumps it in. Entry pass in the paint. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Got it after knocking it loose. That's an indeed unanswered. The ball goes out of play. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. He's got a high post flasher. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Look at that spacing. Number 31 has called for the foul. First team foul. With one attempt. Makes it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Play about ready to resume. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. And a momentary look from three-point land. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. She's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. 
Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brown. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Double team now. Bad angle. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Number 32 is whistled for the foul. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Makes his first. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Goes up for two. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Got a man in high post. For the bucket. He's money with the shot. The Wolfpack are up by 24. Takes the feed. Rims out. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. The power forward gets the pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Nick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. They work the perimeter. Picked off. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. Accepts it. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Dick. Hey, the defense did their job, baby. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The skip pass is picked off. They're working around the arc. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Set that screen away. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. He 
He's got an open look for the shot. Tries for two. And in and out. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Up, easy one. Intercepted. Full court pass. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. That's an 8-0 run. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great defense. Tries a three. Georgia Tech have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. ACC, one of my favorite conferences. Year in and year out, one of the most competitive conferences as well, Dick. Hey, so many greats have played in the ACC. These venues have been the home for so many great players and coaches. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Way off target. For the bucket, there was no doubt about that one. The power forward takes the pass. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Here we go on the break. Number 34 is whistled for the defensive foul. First team foul. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First shot is no good. He misses his second shot. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. They still don't score. In and out. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. On the outside, entry. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. These fans are thrilled. What a reaction. What a response. What enthusiasm. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Jump hook from the low post. And in and out. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat. The message from the bench, defensive stops and do it now. Thanks, Aaron. He is going to the line. 
Nothing but rim. Makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. And off the mark. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Three. Off the rim and no good. From the top of the key. Way off target. For two. Can't get the shot to go. He puts it in with contact and all. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. There's the screen up on top. Jump hook from the low block. And he can't hit the shot. Takes the shot. Georgia Tech are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. The center gets the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post run. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Tries for two. Bounces off. Dump it inside. Takes the shot out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Trying to make that baby have a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on a glass for easy goose. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. For two. Easy one. Roll it back again, fellas. Jumped in front to take it away. Pushes it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Entry pass in the paint. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Gets his first.
makes the second. He hits his third. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Number 33 is pounded on his way up. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. First shot, good. Gets the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. He tries the three, misses the shot, nails the bucket. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. They move it into the front court. He attempts the trifecta. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Look at that spacing. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. Here they go, into the break. Wow, he posterized it. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He goes to the line, shooting one. Good. Working around the arc. Steals the ball. And back they come the other way. Goes in. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Gets it to fall. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Doesn't go. Number 44 picks up the foul. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. He goes to the free throw line. Gets the first. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He makes both of them. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The Yellow Jackets have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire.
pushes it. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. He goes for the trifecta. Rims out. He gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrows point. All factors that are important in close games. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. First shot is good. Second shot is good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Timeout charge. Hey, can we get a drum roll, Mr. Nestler? This one's going down for the last six, baby. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. This is everything we can ask for. It's everything the basketball fans across the country can ask for. NCAA tournament game and overtime. I tell you, Brown, I know you and I love it. The players love it. The coaches love it. But isn't it going to be sad that one of these clubs is going to walk out of here with an L? There's the fake. Go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Picked out of the air. On the outside, he shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Side. Up fake for the deuce. They let him get into a rhythm. They worked the perimeter. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. He drains the bucket. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. 
pulls the trigger. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Rob. He looks for three. He comes up empty. Gave it up. And working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Georgia Tech have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Picked off. Number four is down emotionally right now, Dick. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He shoots from the top of the circle, and he's no good from three-point range. Launches away. He buries the shot. Get ready to resume the action. The lead is nine. Nine is fine, Brad. They have to keep their composure and take good shots. He pulls the trigger. He takes another bad shot. That shot's killed chemistry, Brad. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. He launches the bomb. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Now they're working around the perimeter, looking for a good shot. They're working around the arc. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Makes the second shot. Well, the coach doesn't like what he's seeing right now. He's called a timeout. for play to resume. For the bucket. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Defense extending the old game law. There's that pressure on the ball. Look at that spacing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. Got the shot if he wants it. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He steps up to the line. Buries it. Second one, no good. Shot clock is dead. Tries the three. He buries it. They work the perimeter. 
on the outside. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But you know, you got to win it. Keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Bartender won this game, Rab. And you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Georgia Tech is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.